Hello my friends, and welcome back to the Ukando TV channel. In this video, we will explore the installation process of local gate, an overpass valve, and manufacturing process of C303 bar, wrapped concrete pressure pipe. TM's manufacturing process for spiral pipes begins with the selection of high-quality steel materials that meet the required specifications. The steel is then formed into a spiral shape using a specialized pipe mill equipped with DP heat treatment equipment. The spiral pipes are produced through a continuous automated production process, ensuring high precision and consistent quality. TM Spiral Pipe Mill can manufacture pipes with diameters ranging from 532 to 1420 mm and wall thicknesses from 6 to 60 mm. These pipes are widely used in major oil and gas pipelines in Russia and the CIS. TM spiral pipes are created using submerged arc welding saw, a highly efficient welding method that ensures strong and reliable welds. Heat treatment adjusts welded seams and base metal, making them similar to seamless pipes and properties. TMK sources quality steel that possesses the necessary mechanical properties and durability for large diameter pipes. These materials undergo rigorous quality control measures to ensure they meet the required specifications. After the steel selection, the pipes are formed using roll forming technology. This process involves shaping the steel into a cylindrical shape with the desired diameter and wall thickness. Roll forming provides precise control over the pipe's dimensions and ensures uniformity throughout the length of the pipe. Once the pipes are formed, they proceed to the welding stage. TMK employs advanced welding techniques, such as submerged arc welding saw, to join the longitudinal seams of the pipes. After welding, the pipes undergo heat treatment to enhance their mechanical properties. Heat treatment helps adjust the microstructure of the welded seam and the base metal, making them similar to seamless pipes in terms of characteristics. To ensure the pipe's quality, TMK performs non-destructive testing NDT on each pipe. NDT techniques, such as ultrasonic testing, X-ray inspection, magnetic particle inspection, and hydraulic testing, are employed to detect any defects or irregularities in the pipes. To protect the pipes from external corrosion, TMK applies external corrosion-resistant coatings. These coatings, such as two-layer polyethylene or polypropylene coating and three-layer polyethylene or polypropylene coating, are carefully applied to the pipes. They provide a durable barrier against corrosion and ensure the longevity of the pipelines, even under harsh environmental conditions. In addition to external coating, TMK also applies anti-friction and protective inner coatings for large diameter pipes. These coatings enhance pipeline performance by reducing friction and protecting the inner surface from corrosion. Throughout the manufacturing process, TMK maintains a strong focus on quality control and environmental management. The company adheres to ISO 9001 for quality management and ISO 14001 for environmental management. Once the bureau gate, overspeed valve, and other necessary components have been prepared, they are transported to the installation site using a truck. The components are securely loaded onto the truck, taking into account their size, weight, and any special handling requirements to ensure their safe transportation. Upon arrival at the installation site, 
the truck is positioned in a suitable location for unloading. If needed, a crane is utilized to lift and lower the bureau gate, over speed valve, and other equipment from the truck to the ground. The crane operator carefully maneuvers the components, ensuring they are safely placed in the designated area. The use of a crane provides several advantages during the installation process. It allows for efficient and controlled lifting and lowering of heavy equipment, reducing the risk of damage or accidents. The crane's maneuverability enables precise placement of the bureau gate, overspeed valve, and other components at their intended locations. The bureau gate assumes a crucial role in load cutoff operations. It is designed to regulate the flow of fluids within the pipeline, serving as a control mechanism that can swiftly halt the flow when necessary. This feature is particularly significant during emergencies or maintenance procedures, as it enables quick and efficient shutdowns to minimize risks and ensure the safety of personnel and the pipeline infrastructure. The incorporation process begins with meticulous planning and assessment to determine the optimal location for the bureau gate and overspeed valve. Factors such as pipeline dimensions, flow rates, pressure levels, and accessibility are considered to ensure an effective and efficient installation. Once the appropriate location is identified, excavation work may be required to create a suitable foundation for the chest housing the components. Special attention is given to the stability and structural integrity of the foundation to withstand operational loads and potential environmental factors. The bureau gate and overspeed valve are then carefully positioned within the chest, aligning them with the pipeline for seamless integration. Skilled technicians meticulously connect the components, ensuring proper alignment, tight seals, and efficient functioning. Following the installation, thorough testing and inspection procedures are conducted to verify the proper operation of the bureau gate, overspeed valve, and their integration with the existing pipeline infrastructure. These tests involve simulating various scenarios, including emergency shutdowns, to ensure that the safety mechanisms function flawlessly and conform to regulatory standards. By incorporating the bureau gate and overspeed valve, Inagen is reinforcing the safety and reliability of the supply pipeline. These essential components provide vital control and protection mechanisms, enhancing the overall operational efficiency and minimizing the risks associated with fluid flow. It begins with the fabrication of a steel cylinder by welding together steel sheets and attaching joint rings to both ends. A hydrostatic test is conducted to ensure the welds are strong and watertight. A cage making machine is used for the fabrication of welded wire fabric cages ensuring precise and uniform construction. The cages are positioned outside the steel cylinder, and inner and outer forms encase the cylinder and cages. Concrete is then batched and placed into the forms, filling the space around the cylinder and reinforcement cages. 
The pipe is transferred to a cure cell for elevated temperature curing, typically with steam, to accelerate the curing process and enhance the strength of the concrete. After the initial curing period, the formwork is removed and a final inspection and quality control checks are conducted to ensure the pipes meet industry standards. It begins with fabricating a steel cylinder by welding together steel sheets and attaching joint rings. The steel cylinder is then lined with a layer of concrete, either by applying a concrete lining or embedding the cylinder in a concrete core. Next, pre-stressing wire is installed on the exterior of the pipe, wrapped under controlled tension and spacing. This helps enhance the structural integrity by introducing compressive forces. A mortar coating is applied to the exterior surface of the pipe, providing protection against corrosion and a finished appearance. It begins with the construction of steel reinforcement, either using welded wire, fabric, or steel rods. The reinforcement cages are then placed concentrically over an inside form with an outer form centered over them. After the concrete placement, the pipe is allowed to cure either at ambient or elevated temperatures. This curing process helps the concrete gain strength and durability. Once the initial curing period is complete, the formwork is removed and the reinforced concrete pressure pipe is inspected for quality control. The pipes undergo tests to ensure dimensional accuracy, strength, and water tightness. First, steel sheets are welded to form a cylindrical shape, and joint rings are added for connection points. The welded cylinder undergoes a hydrostatic test to ensure its strength and water tightness. Next, the interior of the cylinder is lined with mortar, providing corrosion protection and enhancing hydraulic performance. Stiffener rings are installed to maintain roundness and stability. A cement slurry is applied to the exterior while the cylinder rotates, ensuring proper bonding between the bars and the cylinder. The pipe receives a final coating of cement mortar, providing a smooth finish and protection against external elements. After curing, the pipe undergoes quality control checks to ensure it meets specifications and standards. Once approved, it is ready for shipment and installation in water distribution systems or other infrastructure applications. At Breva Calzoni, a renowned engineering company, is in the final stages of installing the steel penstock at the Nam Thun 1 hydropower project in Laos. This impressive hydropower project has a capacity of 650 megawatts and is set to become a significant contributor to the region's energy generation.
The penstock, a crucial component of the project, is nearing completion and is being meticulously installed by At Riva Calzoni. It boasts an impressive internal diameter of 10 meters, making it one of the largest penstocks ever constructed. The penstock's total length spans approximately 625 meters, underscoring the scale and complexity of the installation. The penstock serves as a conduit for water flow, channeling it from the dam to the turbines, where its energy is harnessed to generate electricity. Its installation requires precision engineering and careful alignment to ensure optimal performance and long-term reliability. The commissioning of the penstock marks a significant milestone in the project's timeline. Once operational, it will facilitate the efficient flow of water, enabling the turbines to convert the potential energy of the water into electrical power. Firstly, the necessary equipment and materials are gathered and transported to the site. This includes heavy machinery, welding equipment, and the head race pipe sections. Next, the head race pipe sections are laid out in the correct order, and the joints are welded together to form a continuous pipe. The welding process is critical as it must ensure the structural integrity of the pipeline while also providing a seal against leaks. Once the head race pipe is fully assembled, it is lifted into position using cranes and lowered onto its supports. The supports must be carefully placed to ensure that the weight of the pipe is distributed evenly and can withstand the pressure of the water flowing through it. After the headrace pipe is secured in place, it is tested for leaks and pressure resistance to ensure that it is safe to operate. Any issues that arise during testing are addressed, and the pipeline is adjusted as needed. The mobilization of the headrace pipe AB1 for the Plita Poso 1 Pomona project requires close collaboration between various teams including engineers, construction crews, and logistics specialists. Their expertise and careful execution assure the successful installation of the head race pipe, laying the foundation for the efficient and reliable operation of the hydropower plant. As part of the project, a new corrugated steel bridge was constructed, named Optimplate LK-16 Zers Ozork W. This bridge is designed to withstand heavy loads and extreme weather conditions, ensuring safe and reliable transportation of goods and passengers. The restoration of the railway line involved several stages, including the removal of the old infrastructure, the construction of the new bridge, and the installation of modern signaling and telecommunication systems. The project was completed within the stipulated time frame and budget, and it has significantly improved the connectivity and transportation efficiency of the region.